What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Happy love day, happy love day, happy love day, happy love day. I hope y'all are making the best of today and enjoying today. Today is a, a beautiful day. Um, I had couple tips I wanted to share today. Um, I wrote down four. I am Tiffany Empire and Pack Ignite. Um, each day, you know, this is February. It's the month of love. So, we reclaiming our pearls. We reclaiming our pearls. And in order to um, level the playing field, sometimes we do things that we don't know or realize. So, we're going to shed light. Um... We're going to shed light on some of these areas. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Y'all remember these candies? The little cream on um, candies. I can't see um, who is chiming in or whatnot, but hello, hello, hello to you out there. So, I'm going to just dive right on in. How y'all doing? How y'all week been? Um, and some of this going to be coming from the top of my head. Because um, I knew I would have had kind of... I didn't want to be like all over the place once I started. But, um... So, 10 ways to know that a woman is tripping. 10 ways to know that a woman is tripping. Y'all got to get ready for this hand. I could have did this later on tonight, but I'm going to do it right now. So, that way later on tonight, I'm, I already done put this out here. So, one. One. She lets a man talk down to her. Girl, you tripping. You are tripping when you let a man talk down to you. Like, no, ma'am. We not doing that. It is unacceptable behavior. Do you know who you are? Today is the day of love. And what we need to do um, is make sure that we have self-love, self-esteem, self-respect. And understanding of who you are and who you've been called to be. So that is number one. Number two, she lets a man drive her car. So, girl, you tripping. You around here letting this man drive your car. He ain't got no job. He ain't giving you no gas money. He don't got no license. He ain't even doing the right thing with your car. You tripping. It's your car. You waiting. No. Yvette and Jody season is over. Okay. No. You tripping. Don't be letting nobody drive your car. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The car that you just got. The car that you just been able to afford the down payment on. The car that you just fixed the tires on. The car that you just paid the insurance on. The car that you used to get you and your children from point A to point B. And you around here don't let this man drive your car. And then he ain't even helping with no oil change, no gas, no nothing. You tripping. Mm-mm. We ain't doing that, mm Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He need to get his own car. And you need to make sure that he got his own, his driver's license. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Appreciate that love. Number three. Number three. These are 10 ways to know that a woman is tripping. Okay. She lets a man move in with her. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't know about y'all. I've been out on my own since I've been 18. And the worst thing I could have ever did was let a man move in with me. Look at the living conditions. You moving out on your own, striving for stability. And where do he stay? Where, where do he stay? Where's the last three places that he stay? Is the address on his driver's license if he got one? Is it his own address? Is it his mama address? Is it his grandma address? Is it his ex-wife address? Mm-mm, that is a red flag. You do not let no man come move up in your house. And then you over there struggling to pay the bills and he ain't even adding to that. You tripping, girl. You do not. Let, and we and I'm calling him a man, but clearly there's still some growth that needs to be done. So maybe he need to go on right back home with his mama. Because he don't let no man move in 
with you, girl. Mm-mm. Today or next week. Or when your tax money drop. Or on your birthday. Don't, uh-uh, don't do it. Mm-mm. 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 Number four. She cancels her plans for someone who she is not technically with. So you know you tripping when you canceling your plans, um, flaking on your homegirls, and you not even technically in a relationship. Like he ain't even claiming you. Like y'all ain't even together. You trying to see if y'all something or you know it's just a situation ship. It ain't nothing serious. It ain't even that you know, you canceling your plans for somebody else's. No, you tripping. You tripping. So that's four ways that you know that a woman is tripping. So this year, we're not going to be doing all that tripping. We ain't going to be doing all that tipping. We ain't going to be doing all that sipping. And then you round there feeling some type of way. Because you being treated some type of way. But guess what? You allowing it to take place. You're allowing the treatment to happen. So you got to know how to stop tripping. How to stop second-guessing yourself, how to stop settling, how to stop accepting a lot of foolishness that is going on out here up in these streets. So, I got 10 other ways to know that a woman is tripping. Do I need to add water in there? Can they stir? Are you stirring them? Turn them down on low. Um... Another way to know that a woman is tripping, and these just coming off the top of my head, you flake on the people that done been loyal to you, the people that done been coming through for you, for a person that have not proven that loyalty, you tripping, you tripping. You'll never do that. That is, you don't, you don't, that's the worst thing you can do because at the end of the day, this individual have not shown himself worthy of all of your trust and you'll mess around and isolate yourself with somebody that could clearly misuse, abuse you. And then you done cut all your people that been there for you, proven themselves, not there to hurt you, have already let you know that they love you. What's going on, sis? Mm-mm. You're tripping. You're tripping. You're tripping. You're tripping. Um... That's five. So that's enough. That's enough for y'all right now. This it, it it could be a little tight. Um, and like I said on the fifth one, you flaking on people that done already proven that loyalty to you. The first one was um she lets the man talk down to her. The second one is she lets the man drive her car. The third one is I said a man, not her man. A man. She lets a man move in with her. Um, and then four, she cancels her plans for someone who she's technically not with. So don't be tripping around here in this season. Don't be tripping over who not appreciating you, who don't see your value. You make sure that you see your value. You make sure that you appreciate you because the only way others will respect you, um, they're going to go off of what you're doing for you. They're going to step to you correct when they see that you don't play about you. Um, don't continue to let people play with your heart, misuse, and abuse you. And hold yourself accountable for what has taken place at the end of the day. Sometimes we just got to say, you know what? Ain't even your fault. That's my bad for allowing you to treat me like that. That's my bad for even letting you talk to me like that. That's my bad for giving you the keys to my car. That you done had the next person in. Oh, that's my bad for letting you move in into my place. And then expecting you to help me like, oh, you really care that much. Oh, that's my bad. That's on me. I thought wrong, you know. Oh, that's my bad because those was my plans. I didn't have to catch them. But I decided to because I thought it could have been something. But I know that it ain't, you know. Own up to the part that we play. Because clearly, we be tripping sometimes, y'all. We be tripping, and now it's time for us to um, grow. When you know better, you do better. Some things we do because it's out of habit. Certain habits have been going on so long, so long, so long. We think it's normal. 
and it's not. We've normalized dysfunctional behavior, and now it's time for us to reclaim our pearls. It's time for us to rise up, and it's time for the brothers to rise up. So, brothers, guess what? Don't be around here disrespecting no woman, talking side to her. I don't know who raising you, but that's unacceptable. It ain't cool. It's not manly. A real man don't talk down to a woman. No female, period, point blank. And I say that from a, a place of love. But I mean what I'm saying. Don't be asking to drive her car. Don't get mad when she say no. You need to get your own car and make sure you got your credentials because ain't nobody trying to help you pay your ticket or help you get out or be paying for no collect calls when you go in. Get your own car. You are a grown man or if you want to ride a bus, then that's your choice. But do what you need to do. Jody. Okay? Then... Stop trying to move in and live off women. Men don't do that. I don't know who raising y'all. Stop doing that. And then you have the nerve to not add value to the house. Then you got the nerve to want to play the games, especially whether she got children or not. Nobody ain't looking to have another child in the house. If you want to be the man... Then get yourself some stability. Make sure you can handle your bills. Get you some bills. Get you some things to be responsible over. So that way when it's time, you can join forces if you want this woman. If you want to be the man of the house. And not be all up in her house trying to make her feel like she ain't nothing. Come on now. Come on now. We talking love today, honey. Next. Don't be canceling and rearranging your schedule for somebody that has not made it their business to put you in their schedule. That's one of the worst things you can do. That's one of the worst things you can do. You allow a person to get in where they fit in. If you got time, if you're willing to make time, that's what love is about. You make time for a person that you want to spend time with. And if it's a brother and he ain't making time for you, then guess what? Keep doing you. Keep doing you. It's no big deal. It got to be mutual. It can't be one way. Like, it, in a relationship, and this is just a situation, but when you're in a relationship, then it's mutual. It's not one-sided. This ain't no um, seesaw. Uh-uh. It's mutual. So... Those are some tips for today. Ten ways to know when a woman is tripping. And sometimes we don't know that we tripping. We think tripping means we got an attitude and all this and all that. Now, you tripping when you allowing certain things to go on. And some of that stuff need to stop. Because guess what? It's affecting your household. It's affecting your growth. It's affecting your future. It's affecting your children. It's just affecting a lot of stuff. So that's why a lot of relationships are infected. Okay? Toxic. Okay? So if we're ready to grow take these um tips that were shared today and apply them where they may um that was random but they definitely blessed me and if i could share this with my 19 my 18 my 17 year old self i would because clearly i was tripping as a young adult i was tripping as a i just got grown last year so i was tripping so I ain't telling you nothing that I ain't going to tell myself. I am Tiffany, Empire Impact Ignite. Make sure y'all intentional about walking in love. Make sure that um y'all are driving safe. It's cold outside. It is a wet outside. I don't know where y'all might be tuning in from. If you catch us on the replay, appreciate you. Um, But, yeah, reclaim your pearls, girl. And I want my brothers to speak up. Please do. Please say something. And we got a group. What about the black men? What about the black men? What about the black men? You can head over there. Because I know y'all got some stuff that y'all tired of. Um, and y'all got some stuff y'all be tripping on and tripping over to. Um, so we can have these conversations. Y'all already know I'm here for it. Y'all be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day.